The Association of Music Parents has finally created a forum where we can all join, we can support one another. It's an honor and a privilege to be one of the board members for this new organization, and I'm thrilled that my dear friend Scott McCormick invited me to do that. And we'll look forward to having you be a part of the family of the Association for Music Parents. Thanks again. If you go back to the Greek philosophy, uh, uh, the Greeks, which is still supposed to be the best educational system we ever had, they taught three subjects. They taught math because they knew that was the basis of science and that would create a better life. They taught history so we wouldn't go back and make the same silly mistakes our forefathers made. And they taught music so there'd be a reason to live that life. This is a, a, a content area, one of the only content areas that actually teaches creativity and innovation as a part of the objectives of the course. That is something you are going to need and your child is going to need in their future. 90 plus percent of students who have been in music from beginning stage to the end of their high school career go to college. Now that's pretty dramatic, nine out of every ten. When we have AP testing, uh, it pretty much takes out about half of our, at least half of our band program because most of the students who are in our classes are those uh, higher learning students. Being in this is not hurting them academically. I think it just forces them to be organized and they, they achieve. I did better academically during the marching seasons and during when we were doing band contests because my time management was just just better. These kids are just so motivated and they make it work and I think it's just really a good lesson in how to plan your life because it doesn't get easier, it gets harder and this is just really a good life lesson. The Association of Music Parents, this concept is for finally offering a lightning rod. It gives the actual booster parents something they can do. Not just concept, but something they can do. And there's a huge difference between intention and outcome. All those parents, for the most part, every parent wants their child to have the best experience they can educationally. And every teacher wants to have the best program he or she can. Here is the energy to do it. And that's why I say it's time to take that energy and bring it together and use it as a fuel to lift everybody up. And the real victors are the students. We have to, you know, initiate the parents and inform them so that they can, you know, talk to the principals or the superintendents themselves and, you know, make sure that they know that they are involved with, with their students' education. The law says the taxpayer is the number one decision maker. We know that. We just don't think about it. Those are the people that we need to uh, mobilize to advocate for music education. An administrator is looking at dollars and cents. They need a number. And if we approach it with just the emotional aspect of this, and oh, pride and all this, which is still very important, that doesn't resonate with that administrator as much as if you shut down our choir program that has 480 people in it, and we got seven choirs in our high school, you're going to have to hire 15 other teachers to take care of those students. You can't afford not to have music. The school board's job is to hire the administration and make sure that they carry out the wishes of what the public wants for education. So if you have enough voters, taxpayers, to say that we want every school in our district to be an arts magnet school, you can get that. Most parents, when they go, is my child going to be in band or orchestra or choir, the first thing that comes up is I've got to buy an instrument, it's time consuming, and I don't think for the most part we sit down with mom and dad and go, you have any idea what this is going to do for the development, the positive development and growth of your child. The arts are about your heart. They're about mankind. They're about expressing yourself. And there's no other place where their student can ever receive that kind of education except in the arts.